Okay. It seems as if the Wimby effect just keeps on going. It continues. It just keeps on continuing. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so we got some news here, and I think this is actually a pretty big deal. So I uh I want to discuss it with you guys. So big shout out to Spurs reporter uh, for posting this. He actually posted this and then he did an add on as well. And we'll take a look at that. Um, shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video as always. And speaking of BetUS, what I want to do is I want to go through these two reports. Okay. Um, and then I want to look at some odds. All right. When it comes to the Spurs, because I think this is a, a pretty big deal. Uh, and then from there, uh, I, I want to take a look at a list. Okay. And just, just stay tuned. We, we're going to take a look at a list here all right let's see so let's see what happened so apparently the san antonio spurs have a new investor who is out of atlanta so it says the san antonio spurs announced that paul vieira uh founder of Ernest partners is increasing his investment in the team with approval from the nba board of governors i am incre incredibly excited about the spurs culture and the direction in which the team is heading maybe the Spurs have a legacy of success and a promising outlook for the next decade and beyond. I look forward to continuing to support the team's growth and achievements. Wimby, that, that's all that means. Uh, he he could have just said Wimby and, and that would have been fine. Uh, Vieira, who has over 30 years of investment uh, experience, is the CEO of Ernest Partners, managing over 50 billion in assets. Uh, he holds degrees from the University of Michigan and Harvard Business School. Vieira also serves on several boards, including Take Two Interactive. Oh my goodness, I I didn't I didn't read that before. That's actually bad news, dude. Oh my god, do you need that much VC? Do you need that much VC? Uh, and the Woodroof Woodroof uh, Art Center. Uh, Peter J. Holt, Spurs Sports and Entertainment Managing Partner, praised Vieira's commitment, highlighting the value it brings to the organization. The Holt family remains the largest shareholder of the Spurs, with uh, other notable investors, including Sixth Street, Michael Dell, Joe Gibia, Kimberly Lewis, and the McCombs family. I know none of these people. Um, I, I hope they're okay, I guess. Uh, look at that. Look at that smile. All right. Look at that smile. Okay. We're not talking about this guy in particular about his character. And I have no idea who he is, um, but moving on. So this is the add on. Okay. So uh, some extra news just to put things in perspective. Uh, there's a couple more details to add to today's earlier news. Uh, several NBA owners uh, come from investment bank backing uh, banking background. Sorry. Like Spurs investor, Paul Vieira does, for example, uh, Tony Resler, owner of the Atlanta Hawks, co-founder, co-founded uh, private equity firms, uh, Eris Management and Apollo uh, Management. Joshua Harris, owner of the 76ers. And he just goes on and on and says, you guys don't care about that, but yeah. So this is actually pretty cool. So Paul Vieira increases his stake uh, in the Spurs from 5% to 11% as the valuations uh, in NBA teams rose in large part because of the league's new 76 billion media uh, deal spurs are now valued at 2.5 billion dollars now i was a little confused with that because i knew that we were above that last season right so as the season tipped off last season the san antonio spurs were more than 3 billion so i don't know how accurate this is or if it went down slightly i don't know but we're going to take a look at a list in a minute uh, to, to see, you know, where the Spurs rank amongst other teams and how much they're valued. But this is actually a big deal. This shows that a lot of, a lot of investors are seeing a lot of promise in the San Antonio Spurs and we're on the, we're on the come up. Okay. We are absolutely on the come up. Now, with that being said, here's a question I have for you guys. Okay. Uh, heading over here to bet us, get out of that. What do you guys think? Do you think the Spurs will make the playoffs because I've been very open in saying, I think that we're possibly a play-in team, right? And if you're a play-in team, you have a legitimate shot at the playoffs, okay? It just is what it is. You just gotta win a couple games, you're good to go. Um, so where do you guys think? Uh, do you think that the Spurs will land as a play-in team? Do you think that they will be in the playoffs? Um, but if we were to make this bet, okay, I won't do anything crazy because I'm just not I'm just not that bought on it. Uh, yes, risk. 15 we'll do 15 15 and give you 56 I'm, I'm okay with that i'm gonna place that bet 
uh yeah that that's what i'm gonna go with confirm that bad boy uh but yeah so guys let me know do you think the spurs will make the playoffs um and as i always say big shout out to bet us and if you guys are interested in bet us at all please just uh head on over to bet us use the promo code youtube 150 you'll receive 150 percent uh bonus on your first deposit and then your next two deposits you'll get 125 percent uh bonus so like i said use promo code uh youtube 150 and you get that bad boy going hey guys clan here should specify that's up to two thousand dollars so 150 percent bonus on your first deposit 125 percent bonus on your next two up to two thousand dollars all right back to the video so i wanted to take a look at the other valued teams and see where we rank um so obviously this is a little you know this, this is a little further back right this is just what we got on wikipedia right now so this is from 2022 but i'm assuming it hasn't shifted that much right so you got the golden state warriors that was number one you had the knicks at two which warriors knicks and lakers are going to be in the top three right top three top four uh you got the boston celtics at four clippers at five but we go all the way down the spurs were actually at 21 at 2 billion and now that we're all the way basically at 3 billion uh we should be around the 15 uh range 15 to 16 range um if not slightly higher uh, so that that's a pretty big deal especially when you're a team that's a small market team right like we're not located in california or a lot of these places that people just love to live right we're, we're just we're just not um not to say like i love san antonio i've visited san antonio plenty of times but it's a small market team right and it's a big deal that they're starting to get more and more investors and getting more and more excitement around uh, the team really big deal and i think a lot of people are expecting the spurs to be a problem for a very long time and they want to get in where the getting's good uh right now so uh but yeah let me know what you guys think uh like i said do you think the spurs will be in the playoffs uh how good do you think that we legitimately can be in this upcoming season and how big of a deal do you think this is uh but all of this mumbo jumbo about uh, yes, I I love the culture there and the direction in which they are heading, and it's just Wimby. It, it's all Wimby. Just just say Wimby, dog. Just it's Wimby. Um, but anyways, I will get with you guys later, man. I appreciate all the love, uh, sincerely. Also, I brought this up in the last video as well. Um, I'm really considering creating a Discord for Sparking Zero um, because I need more people to play with. Okay, if you have a PlayStation, well, I guess it doesn't matter if we just make a Discord. I mean, you can find people to play with, but. Um, if you're excited about sparking zero coming out um i would love to get more people onto that uh i am i'm also looking into uh to start streaming some of that because i like my i like my private time right to stream and everything but at the same time i've had people say hey why don't you stream 2k why don't you stream uh the the new game dragon ball z coming up right and you know maybe i should maybe i should so i've been thinking about that as well but if you guys are interested um please let me know in the comments if you're getting sparking zero if you are a dragon ball fan because i would love to create a separate discord for that um but as the time being if you want to join my current discord link is in the description just basically a group chat for those who don't know what discord is it's, it's just a group chat uh, basically that that's basically what it is you go on the server and it's a lot of different topics and you know spurs related so anyways i'll give it you guys later big shout out to bet us for sponsoring this video i'll get with you next time bye